and a half minutes of opening credits that do nothing for nobody. DC Comics. If you were a Batman fan back in 1989, you seriously wondered what you got yourself into when songs written and performed by Prince came up. You probably even liked Prince, but doing songs for a Batman movie? It's kind of like if you went to see The Dark Knight and saw a credit, songs written and performed by Kanye West. Holy sh this is a nightmare city landscape full of matte paintings. Sanchez Mexican food advertisement that says only the name in goddamn Gotham. No phone number, street address. What kind of late 1980s cab advertising is this? So this asshole takes the family's cat, and that guy's an asshole to be certain. But then inexplicably, the dad decides we should walk all across town looking for taxis, even though we're directly in front of a theater where many taxis will show up. We're going the wrong way! And there's no way that a cab can somehow use the roads to get us going in the right direction. I know where we are. So let's run into this creepy alley and look for a cab. Animated Batman is not here to stop robberies, just to hurt the bad guys who do them way after they occur. Also, <laughs> you thought that was Bruce Wayne's family, and so did I, but nope, fake out, just regular muggers. In all of Gotham, Bruce chose to follow and apprehend petty holdup criminals just because they attack in an alley like his parents' killers. But meanwhile, murders out the ass are taking place all over the city in non-Bruce Wayne memory alley territory. Batman, while smart and awesome, kicks the gunless guy first for some reason. I want you to tell all your friends about me. Publicity I could have gotten by preventing the robbery in the first place and saving the dad from a nasty hit to the head, but nah, I like this mysterious word-of-mouth publicity better. Harvey Dent really does later turn into Two-Face in this series, because eventually he becomes Tommy Lee Jones. Evil people set meeting with Crooked Cop a mere two blocks from recent crime scene. This is Tim Burton's vision of Gotham. A bunch of what the f were they thinking architecture and traffic consisting mostly of station wagons. Of course! All I have to do is get thrown into a vat of chemicals for this oddly specific foreshadowing to come true. This Save the Festival basket is filled with Monopoly money. Could you tell me which of these guys is Bruce Wayne? I'm not a very good reporter, so I need all the help I can get. Alfred, who is serving the whole of this party, is also able to follow Bruce's every step to pick up after him. Commissioner Gordon! Why in the hell did Knox and Vicki Vale think that Commissioner Gordon decided to walk into some dark room full of antiques after rushing out of the party? And why isn't it locked? Who are you? Oh, sorry. Bruce Wayne. Seriously? Wealthy socialite Bruce Wayne? Nobody knows what this guy looks like? Ah, 1989, when a two-way mirror and an oscillating VHS camera were considered futuristic technology only the rich could afford. Also, when you need video surveillance of a room, be sure to have at least three cameras all shooting at basically the same angle. Robert, what's up? Anonymous tip. Amazing, the sound quality of these cameras, which must be 50 feet away, that can isolate a conversation in the middle of a huge party. Shoot to kill. Know what I mean. Actually, now that you say you know what I mean after something as simple as shoot to kill, I wonder if you mean something else entirely. These bad guys doing bad guy things are super clueless about stealth and shit. Freeze! Look at this gung-ho cop who plays by his own rules. Ah, ten bad guys who don't give a about killing me at the drop of a hat? I got this covered. Does Jack have any idea what this shit does? Or is he just hoping against hope that these levers will somehow aid in his escape? Batman could easily start punching Jack and tying him up for the cops right now, but decides to wait until the situation is way more dangerous before doing Batman stuff. This cop took creeping lessons from the assholes in the Smooth Criminal video. Who is this guy? I don't know. Batman makes a secret getaway even though everyone can see him through the smoke. Check the roof, guys! For no reason we can figure out, Jack doesn't simply drown after being thrown into the toxic chemical sludge. One half the wing gate has metal leaves all over it, the other side does not. And I'm much more concerned about this than I am any other plot going on right now. How's the soup? Excuse me? Makes for a nice joke, but damn, why did they decide to eat dinner at opposite ends of the table on a first date? Is Bruce that goddamn formal? That dining room is definitely not you. I like how much she knows him after one date. Haha, <laughs> the legal surgery clinic has signed flashing surgery, which I guess helps attract customers without also attracting cops. Wait, is his bathroom inside a vault of some kind? Amazing how the lighting in this place agrees with setting up a dramatic reveal. Bruce Wayne had sex with Vicki Vale, and instead the movie showed me the chemical warehouse assault, because the movie hates me and also is probably aiming for a PG-13 rating. Why would you do this in your bedroom where you've just bedded a civilian? Jesus, you live in a mansion. Find a different room for this if you have to do it overnight. Wait till they get a load of me. Kind of amazing after Heath Ledger's great performance, we just forgot how great Jack Nicholson was in this movie. So we will remove us in here. What if we say no? Well, Tony. <laughs> Nobody wants a war. Bad guy challenges another bad guy at a meeting and falls for the no hard feelings ruse cliche, which anyone who's seen a Bond film knows to never fall for. Yes, sir. The compliance with this mission requires me to put on my sunglasses. I just want you to do your job. Albeit with glasses two times too big for my face, but I'm doing my job. Who is this guy? Who cares? Top photojournalist in Gotham has zero interest in the identity of the city's infamous vigilante. Stalking. Also, Wayne Manor, which goes through the trouble of having three cameras trained on the Japanese arsenal room, has no video security around the premises just in case someone starts snooping around the house. In this debris-filled alley, Bruce Wayne ritually adds to the garbage by laying flowers at the spot of his parents' death. Also, he places roses on the site of his parents' murders, rather than simply visiting their graves. I mean, you're honoring the place they got murdered. What the f***? Unauthorized Dead Parents Rose Examination. Time to pay the check. Joker gets away with this in front of all these people and at least five cops on the top of the steps, because reasons. Bruce gets shot in the shoulder, but he's Batman, so it didn't hurt, I guess. 
I don't have any comment, no. Did the Joker build this contraption for the express purpose of punching a TV when he doesn't like something? It appears to have zero use outside of destroying a TV, but I thought I'd ask. I feel that there's a certain weight that lifts when she is here. She was here one time, and she f***ed him, so you're dealing with a small sample size, Alfred. Find out what's so special about the alley at Pearl and Phillips Street. Jeez, this is like Fatal Attraction or something. She doesn't have a hunch that Bruce is Batman. She's obsessed with the rich guy who showed her a nice time one night. She will not be ignored, Bruce. Stop the press. Who is that? That's Vicky Vale. How is this movie's Joker ultimately motivated by his penis? Does that sound like any version of the Joker you've ever heard of? He wants to cause chaos and kill Batman. That's it. I'm not even sure he has a dick. How does Joker override the broadcast at a news station? What equipment have we seen that allows him to do this? Only 13 deaths? He shipped more than a million cases of that Movie strongly suggests these news anchors are going makeup free to avoid Joker contamination. But then why does this asshole anchor have two mega sores on his face that even makeup couldn't hide? Did he bury his face in a box of herpes? How did makeup even hide that mountain of in the first place? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be 10 minutes late to the museum, okay? What does Vicki Vale do besides stalk Bruce Wayne that is gonna make her 10 minutes late? Luckily though, it happened, and now Bruce knows she's at the museum under suspicious circumstances. Even Gotham's art museum can't escape looking like some of its walls were built with leftover submarine parts. Which is good, because these giant vents will make spreading Joker's poison so easy. Vicki Vale is so made up with so many products on her person, I wonder how she avoided dying. Surely she's heard of the massive makeup scare going on right now. <laughs> Here's one massive Prince music video without Prince. A minute and a half of art destruction I'm supposed to find humor in. Super discount Banksy. I kinda like this one, Bob. Leave it. But I won't tell any of my other henchmen not to deface it and expect them to simply get the message, no matter where they are in this museum. She is a living work of art. Oh, she's still hot. Frightening. Batman's entrance somehow doesn't kill both the Joker and Vicky via falling shards of glass. Also, I'd like to know why climbing to the museum roof and smashing through the window was a better option than simply busting through the doors. Vicky could be in all sorts of trouble, but you decide, better take the longer, more complicated, dangerous, and dramatic way inside. Also, luckily for her and the plot of this movie, Vicky somehow has the wherewithal to grab her camera bag and put it around her shoulder, even though she has no clue what's going on. And I'm pretty sure it was hanging on a chair, and that would have been way too hard to grab from here, but thank god she did, right? The Batmobile makes one slightly tight turn and a f***ing Blues Brothers car accident breaks out. Also, movie he answers the question, how many assholes will blindly drive into each other even though they had plenty of chances to stop? The answer is 16. How do these dumb assholes have any idea where Batman went? And how did they get around the bulldozer, the stop traffic, and all the etc going on? How much do you weigh? About 108, I think. <laughs> Come on, she's beautiful, but 108? <laughs> See that thing on my belt? Grab it. Whatever you do, don't let go. Batman gives these instructions a split second before Vicky can even process it, and could have killed her. Also, he can jump down to beat up these dudes he doesn't need to beat up for any reason. Just go! The camera is a machine, and God came from the machine to preserve Batman's identity. I see the Indiana Jones is strong with this one. Stop. If this Batmobile only stops when Batman tells it to, then how did it not run into a hundred cars on the way here, and possibly drill a few pedestrians on the way? Also, how did it lose the cops that immediately started following the Batmobile once he remotely activated it? The only way to get to Wayne Manor is through Tim Burton's woods. Bats. All these bats in the cave roaming free, and Batman decided to cage one of them because he's a heartless bastard. They're great survivors. Including in this cage, where I make Alfred come down and feed him every day with nutritious gruel. Hairspray won't do it alone, but hairspray mixed with lipstick and perfume will be toxic. Except to Vicky Vale, who is probably wearing all of those things plus makeup. Take that to the press. There's no reason why Batman even took her to his lair. All he had to do was take her to her apartment, knock her out, take the film she shot, and once back home, send the envelope to the press, or put it on her nightstand. But I guess it's way more dramatic to drive her all the way out here, which is how Batman likes it, I guess? Also, why didn't he just make copies of all this stuff and put this package in the trunk of the Batmobile before he went to go save Vicky? Why did you bring me here? Well, you could have sent that stuff to the press yourself. Vicky Vale would be amazing at CinemaSins. Why does Batman have what appears to be two bottles of mouthwash down here in the Batcave computer station? The grown woman with the teddy bear on her bed definitely deserves a sip. By the way, Batman totally walked into an apartment building dragging an unconscious woman into it, and no one saw him. Oh, he took the film. This is what she says, as opposed to, he put his hand inside my bra, without permission this time. All these people behind him, they're the founders of Shutterstock, no lie. Oh my god, this story is happening during the Harry S. Truman years. They had lots of modern equipment during that age. Also, aside from the ridiculous proofreading errors on this page, and the total non-article underneath the headline, these combinations are not what Batman told Vicky earlier. It was any combination that caused death, and he specifically said hairspray mixed with lipstick and perfume. Also, these are some extremely specific combinations, and I don't know how Joker planned to do the harm he expected to do if these were the only combinations. I have given a name to my pain. And it's weird, specific chemical reactions that only killed 13 total people. You can't really blame Batman for this can you? Plus, after you told the entire city about the new and improved Joker products, everyone was afraid to use anything anyway. What a dumb plan this is. 
the Joker is addicted to perfectly good television sets. Vicky Vale's room is number nine, but if you're wondering where rooms 43 through 87 are, they're to the right. Oh no, Joker's here! Right at the time Bruce Wayne is here! Hey, how come Vicky has a large bowl of popcorn on her mantle? And Vicky is now in this super tense moment, casually eating the stale popcorn she grabbed off the mantle for defense. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. Never once does Joker say this until he says it to Bruce Wayne, giving him the clue that Jack killed his parents. He didn't tell Eckhart, Grissom, or that crime lord dude this phrase before killing them. So nice try, f***o, that's not true at all. Joker runs and stands over Bruce to taunt him, but somehow completely misses the total lack of blood from Bruce's Back to the Future 3 bulletproof vest. Also, he doesn't shoot him a few more times to make sure he's dead. Does Joker leave Vicky's place just because he fired a bullet and he's worried about cops showing up? Why did he even bother to come here if the reason wasn't to either kill or kidnap her? Luckily, this tray is bulletproof and the Joker didn't aim for head or dick. Why even bother opening this present? That could have been more poison. The Gotham newspaper office cheers for the New York Giants? Gotham City painting. Joker here. I love how the mayor dude is looking directly to his left, helping the audience know he's reacting to Joker. But this only makes sense if somehow the field team set up a live feed television monitor of the station's broadcast directly to the mayor dude's left. Which, come on, they did not do. But one thing I am not is a killer. Why would you make this claim if you're the Joker? The entire press saw you stab a guy on the steps of City Hall and you were implicated in killing 13s of people with poison. I'm sure Dominic Toretto would vouch for you, though. We are not prepared to discuss any deals. Does Joker know the exact configuration of these particular monitors at the TV station to make a swiping motion that will clear them off? And what exactly does that even do? The mayor wasn't even being broadcast anyway. You heard it, folks. 20 million. And you saw it, folks. My hands went from one position to a drastically different one in the next shot. Eating popcorn with gloves on. You're not only ruining the fine leather gloves with f***ing salt and butter and other chemicals, you're also putting whatever bullshit is on your gloves into your mouth. The Waynes enjoyed that place so much they decided to walk down deserted alleys and streets afterwards laughing like asshole. You ever dance with the devil by the pale moonlight? Add the Wayne parents to the large group of people to whom Jack Napier did not ask this question before killing them. No hesitation whatsoever in killing the parents, but poses the kid a question that makes no sense. And then he doesn't even kill him. Also, this movie makes a massive change to Batman lore by having Joker be his parents' killer. Okay, fine. But then why would a psycho like Joker kill the parents but leave a little kid witness alive? He wouldn't do that, right? This Batman shouldn't exist. Alfred makes the all-time biggest presumption in the world and leads Vicky into the secret Batcave. But that wasn't just another night for either of us, was it? I mean... We, we both got to each other, didn't we? You had a meal and had sex. There was nothing much special about it. None of these henchmen fall down from being struck by these dozens of ricocheting bullets. With everyone knowing what chemicals not to mix, and the fact that it only killed 13 people one day, was there a pressing need to destroy the Axis Chemicals factory in this manner? He could have done it way more stealthily, and with less danger to himself, right? In a minute, we're about to see the Batwing, which could easily have flown over to do this job. Into the air, Junior Birdman! Roll credit. Oh, is that where they got the title for Birdman? This makes me want to send something, so I will, for virtually no reason at all. Way too many minutes of this goofy-ass parade, and I'm a Prince fan. It's actually beyond ridiculous, after all the things Joker has done, that nobody in the police force wants to arrest him right now. By the way, law enforcement just totally disappeared in this movie, didn't they? Take the pictures. Gotham's green. Whoa, whoa there, pal. There's probably a guy with a pretty good union job who's supposed to think of the headlines. You just report, dickhead. This looks cool, I guess. But thank God the Joker's poison gas was light as helium. Am I right? Are surgical masks really going to prevent you from breathing in all this gas? And since when does being in a car protect you from gas that can make its way into any of the thousands of openings cars have? Batwing is equipped with a special cutter thing to grab balloons just in case that comes up. During his assault on the Joker, Batman decides to give an unseen audience a glimpse of the Batwing silhouetted against the moon. That's good marketing right there. Batman, the Batman, with a targeting computer and everything, misses the Joker with missiles and bullets. And Joker seems to even know he'll miss, with no explanation. And then this comically large gun is able to shoot down the Batwing. What, because it's a comically long Roger Rabbit gun? Are you kidding me? I've got to get you to the church on time. But why? Do you really need to climb this super tall church in order to get a helicopter ride? Why not have a car waiting? That worked at City Hall when you killed the crime lord guy with a pen. Batman survives this crash because, let me guess, he's Batman. This is some Spider-Man shit here. Even before they made Spider-Man 3, this was pretty iconic imagery, right? Makes for interesting visuals, but the height of this church bell tower is stretching into Cinderella territory in terms of believability. How does Joker have any henchmen at all in this church? Remember, he just decided to walk to this place after his plans with the gas balloons didn't pan out. Batman came in right behind him, and no one else followed the Joker the whole way. They basically already have to be here, sitting and waiting in a church that Joker had no idea he was going to enter for any reason. Also, why is Batman so far away from them after this shot of him getting out of the Batplane? 
How many times does Kim Basinger scream in this movie? How many times did they possibly call her back, put her in a studio, demand different screams in the ADR process, and threaten to shoot orphans if she didn't give them the right one? Where has this henchman been the whole time? If he's able to beat that ass this easily, why didn't he show up before now? Also, how do any of these church goons even come close to hanging with Batman in a fight? We thought the hero fell to his death only to find he's holding on to something impossible and surprises everyone cliche. Well, Batman doesn't kill people, but yeah, he totally just did. Joker falls for this. I'm gonna kill you. I'd object to that statement wildly if this movie hadn't just shown us Batman killing someone, so I'd give up. The second time this happens in the movie, and it makes zero sense. Where could Joker be that Batman couldn't see this coming? Batman shoots this thing, and with expert movie magic, it somehow wraps around the Joker's foot, while also anchoring itself to the gargoyle. How does it work? F you, that's how. Well, it all worked out. But one question. Once he and Vicky get back up to the roof, and they walk back down the steps, many of which were destroyed, how do they get around that huge bell Joker cut down to block the entrance? And once they get past that, how are there not millions of cops and press waiting for them when they get down? Nearly every scene of this movie in downtown Gotham occurs near the Monarch Theater. Gotham's supposed to be like huge-ass New York City, but almost every scene takes place near here, making Gotham feel like Hill Valley. To cast a shadow on the heart of the city, call me. How do we call him? Knox always thinks of the questions other reporters are too afraid to ask. He gave us a signal! Which he can see anywhere from his mansion miles away from the city, or unblocked by tall buildings when he's in an alley somewhere. Never rub another man's rhubarb. Purpose only to point out and make public the dishonesty, the downright villainy of boss Jim W. Getty's political machine. All right, here's how we begin. First task, reconnaissance. I want to know everything that's going on in all three casinos, from the rotation of the dealers to the path of every cash card. Beetlejuice. 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 What's on your mind, Alfred? Leaving to make you understand. You're not Batman anymore. You have to find another way. You can't handle the truth! Let's get dangerous. Darkwing, 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 Darkw